ahead and let's start by talking about scientific notation. Now, scientific notation, the main thing about it, all we're trying to do is we're trying to make really large numbers into something more manageable and really small numbers into something more manageable. Now, for our examples that we're going to have, we're going to work with 10, 100, 1,000, and then 0 0.005, 0 0.05, and 0 0.5. Now, what we want to do when we are doing scientific notation is we're going to move the decimal. Okay. Now, how many times we move the decimal is going to tell us what our uh, superscript is going to be. So when we look at scientific notation, you're going to have some number. Okay, Let's just say we have 2.34 times 10 to the fourth. Okay, Now, the number up here, the superscript up here, is going to tell us how many times we move the decimal. Okay, Now, since it doesn't have a positive or negative, we say that this 4 is going to be positive. Now, the positive and negative tells us which way we move the decimal. Okay, and this number up in front, all we're trying to do is just get this number to be something between 1 and something below 10. Okay, so in looking at this, we're going to pretend that we put our decimal here, if there's not a decimal, and we move this, num this decimal so that this number now becomes 1.0. Okay, now, since we moved it to the left, okay, it's a bigger number, we moved it once, that means we put a 1 right here, and to the left means that it's positive. Okay? If we look at 100, we pretend that there's a decimal right here, and we move it 1 2 times, and we get 1.0 times 10, and we put a 2, and we don't have to put the positive, but you can if you want. And then the last one, we move it 1, 2, 3, so this would be 1.0 times 10 to the third. Now what you'll see is that any number that is greater uh, than 1 is always going to be positive. Anything below 1 is going to be negative. So over here, again, we want to move this decimal two or sorry, this time we're moving it 1, 2, 3 places, and this is going to be 5.0 times 10 to the, and we put a 3 and it has to be negative because it's below 1. In this one right here, we move it one, two places, so it's 5.0 times 10 to the negative, since we so below one, two. And then this one, we just move it one place, and it's 5.0 times 10 to the negative one.